Liverpool man Anthony Owens has spoken out recently about how he was left feeling degraded and abused after being made to strip search by Merseyside police back in 2018. The 40 year old was walking along Oriel Road in Bootle when an unmarked police car suddenly pulled up and stopped next to him. Two plainclothes officers jumped out. According to Mr Owens, the officers asked him, have you ever been strip searched? To which he replied he hadn't and was told, well, you're about to be. He was taken to Marsh Lane Police Station where he says he was told by an officer, stand there and do exactly what I tell you to do very slowly. As he was ordered to remove his clothing and then asked to move body parts as officers searched for Class A drugs. Anthony said, I was in shock to be honest. I suffer a bit with anxiety and it was a shock. Two strange men snatching me off the street. They were asking me, are you being told to do anything you don't want to do? Like storing drugs. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I just said, I feel like crying, to be honest. I felt degraded. It felt like I had been abused. Nothing was found on Anthony and he was allowed to leave. However, he later went to James Murray Solicitors, based here in Liverpool, to take legal action against Merseyside Police over the ordeal, arguing that the force had not followed procedures when carrying out the search, making it unlawful. Merseyside Police obviously need to cover their backs and replied to the letter of claim that Mr Rowins had behaved suspiciously and was seen with his head on a swivel. The force suggests that he had performed a transaction with someone inside a car while Mr Owens said the driver had just stopped and asked him for directions. Mr Owens has been fighting his case for a number of years and it did get to the High Court due to the misinterpretations of what's deemed an intimate search versus what's deemed a strip search. The High Court judge decided that Mr Owens had been strip searched but his treatment did not count as an intimate search as previous cases had established. There needed to be physical contact inside an orifice. Now that's a very interesting use of words. There needed to be physical contact inside an orifice. I would consider if that's the wording used then that's a copper, when a copper puts their finger in a person's mouth to try and retrieve what they believe may be drugs for example then based on that description from the High Court that would be an intimate search as the mouth is an orifice in my opinion. Anyway, Owens wasn't deterred by the ruling and continued with his claim against Merseyside Police, which eventually ended with Mr Owens being awarded £5,000 in an out-of-court settlement, along with Merseyside Police coughing up for his legal fees, which had run into tens of thousands. Merseyside Police said it had agreed to settle the case due to the unavailability of a key officer witness and defended the use of stop and search. A spokesman for the force said stop and search is an absolutely vital tool in crack tackling crime and part of the reason we continue to be marked outstanding in our approach to serious and organised crime in Merseyside. The force is committed to ensuring officers are professional and ethical when carrying out stop searches and take the time to explain to those they are searching why it is being done and what their rights are. The force abides by national guidelines and procedures in relation to stop and search and has an established force legitimacy team which has been pivotal in creating the independent public scrutiny panels made up of members of our communities for stop and search. We have embedded greater scrutiny of stop and search and use of force with members of the public involved. Looking at body worn video of stop and search is conducted by our officers and providing feedback positive and negative. Any learning for the organisation and positive feedback that should be reinforced is captured and shared. What a shitload of word salad that was. I'm glad to see that Anthony Owens didn't give up. It's the police's number one ace in the hole that they can drag these things out for years if necessary with an almost unlimited pot uh, of cash to pay for legal costs while we the general public seeking justice can so easily be deterred or even lose everything in the pursuit of justice.